Hi everyone, my name is Ken Sablinski and I work in the Product Development Office here at Orion Telescopes. Uh, today we're going to be talking about the Orion Starseeker 130mm Reflecting Telescope, uh, specifically initial setup. Um, we're going to show you how easy it is to get it from the original packaging to the finished product. And uh, alright, well let's get started. Alright, so to give you a sense of the size um, of your telescope, this is the box for the Starseeker 130. Uh, when it arrives at your door, you're gonna, you're gonna see this here. It's, it's bulky, but it's not that heavy, so uh, it should be pretty manageable to, to get inside and you know, start the setup. So here you have the open box. Um, just take everything out, place it on a table. That'll make the overall setup easier. All right, here you've got the pieces laid out on the table, the fork arm on the left, tripod in the middle, and the various accessories on the right. So one important part of the assembly process is the optical tube and fork arm. During shipping, it's packaged to be as small as possible, but this is not actually the configuration um, that you will have it in when you set it up. The trick is you cannot move this fork arm by hand, otherwise you might damage some of the gears. So it's best to do it with the hand controller. First thing you want to do, take the optical tube out of the ring. Just remove this screw. tube out, set it aside, and now you can focus on putting the fork arm onto the tripod. Alright, so the first step in setting up your telescope is the tripod. Uh, it just unfolds, each leg unfolds. You can set the height now if you'd like, it might make it easier so you don't have to lift the entire telescope later. After loosening the lock knob, raise the leg as far as you need and then tighten the lock knob back down and repeat for the other two legs. Orient the accessory tray so the bracket for the hand controller is between two of the tripod legs and simply tighten down the thumb lock from below. All right, now you're ready for the fork arm assembly. It attaches to the top of the tripod. Simply place the fork arm into the cavity and from underneath there is a large thumb wheel. It just threads on. And again, just hand, hand tight. You don't have to really tighten it down, just snug is all you need to do. So at this point, you're ready to attach the optical tube. But before you do that, you want to rotate the ring until the Starseeker logo is upright. That uh, puts the telescope in the correct starting position for viewing the night sky. But remember what I said before, you can't move this uh, ring by hand, otherwise you might damage some of the gears. So you want to power it up and move it with the hand controller. So the first step is to plug the hand controller in. Next is the power supply, and the power supply just uses eight AA batteries. Now, after the power comes on, simply press the up or down button to rotate the tube all the way around until the Star Seeker logo is upright. Alright, that's about good right there. This way, the tube can fit inside without hitting the tripod. So, loosen the foam wheel here. Make sure you don't lose that. The little screws can completely disappear in the grass, so it might be a good idea to uh, install this thing at home uh, in your living room before actually going outside into the night sky. And tighten it back down. That's all there is to it. Before tightening down the ring, you can rotate the tube in the ring in order to get a comfortable angle for your eye. Just experiment, see what uh, works best for you, and then tighten it down when you've found that spot. All right, so we're almost ready to observe. The next step are the accessories. Now, the first thing is the Easy Finder, uh, Finder Scope. Uh, before I put it on, just remove the little plastic tab covering the battery. Put that aside, and the dovetail bar fits into the little dovetail slot on the side of the scope. Loosen the set screw, slide it in from the bottom upwards, and then tighten down the set screw. Next would be the eyepiece. The dust cover comes off 
and your eyepiece. So always start with the low power, your 25 millimeter. That one goes in and is tightened down by the set screws. Here's your focus, and you're ready to begin observing with the Orion Starseeker 130 millimeter.